Welcome to Turkic Tales, the channel that delves deep into the enthralling narratives, ancient heritage, and intriguing anecdotes of the Turkic people. In this episode, we embark on a captivating journey that unravels the remarkable saga of Ertugrul Ghazi, an iconic figure whose indomitable spirit and strategic prowess shaped the course of an empire, the valiant conqueror whose name echoes through Turkic history. So, without delay, let the tale unfold. Ertugrul Ghazi, born in 1191 AD in Sogut, a city in present-day Turkey, hailed from a lineage of the Oguz Turks, with his father, Suleiman Shah, serving as the esteemed leader of the Kai tribe. Growing up in a society that prized martial prowess, Ertugrul Ghazi received comprehensive training in warfare and leadership during his formative years. With his exceptional skills as a warrior and a visionary, Ertugrul Ghazi swiftly ascended to prominence within the Kai tribe. Leading his people in clashes against rival tribes and Byzantine forces, he expanded their dominion and bolstered their influence. Notably, he accomplished the remarkable feat of forging a robust coalition comprising the Kai tribe and neighboring tribes, laying the groundwork for the illustrious Ottoman Empire that would later emerge. Ertugrul Ghazi's astute leadership and martial prowess were pivotal in unifying these factions, ultimately shaping the destiny of an empire. In Ottoman folklore, Halim Hatun emerges as a captivating figure, a beloved wife of Ertugrul and the revered mother of Osman I, the founder of the Ottoman Empire. Though her existence is steeped in legend, Halim Hatun's story embodies love, strength, and the enduring spirit of a remarkable woman. She is portrayed as a loyal and supportive partner to Ertugrul, and her nurturing guidance shapes the future sultan, Osman Thirst. In the 13th century, the Islamic world faced great challenges. The powerful Mongol Empire was expanding its rule and subjugating the greatest empires of the time. In the midst of this chaos, the Kai tribe, known for their fighting skills, began a migration towards Iran, Syria, and Egypt. The Kais had already left their homeland in Khorasan due to increasing threats. After the Mongol invasion, the Turkmen, including the Karakuchari clan of the Kais, had to find refuge in Anatolia. Ertugrul, the son of the deceased Kai leader, faced a crucial moment when his older brothers chose a different path of peace. But Ertugrul, driven by his strong spirit, had a vision of settling near the Byzantine border, where there was fertile land and potential for growth. With the support of his brother Dundar and the remaining tribe members, Ertugrul became their leader. Leading only 400 families, he embarked on a westward journey and eventually arrived in the Sebastian region of present-day Turkey. This marked the beginning of an extraordinary chapter in Ertugrul Ghazi's life as he bravely faced adversity and laid the foundation for a remarkable legacy. In 1230, Ertugrul and his companions found themselves in the midst of a fierce battle between two opposing armies. Without knowing who they were, Ertugrul chose to support the weaker side, which ultimately led to their victory. It is debated among historians whether the beleaguered army was the Byzantine Empire or the Mongols but it was Sultan Kekubad of the Seljuk Empire who led them to triumph. Impressed by Ertugrul's bravery and the skill of his soldiers, Sultan Kekubad granted him the Karakada region to protect the borders from the Byzantines. Ertugrul successfully defended against Mongol invasions and captured Byzantine castles. Later, Sultan Kekubad rewarded him with the town of Sogut, strategically located on the Byzantine frontier. Ertugrul captured Sogut and the surrounding lands, and it would later become the capital of the Ottoman Empire under his son Osman I. During summers, Ertugrul and his tribe sought refuge in the demanded plateaus while they defended Sogut from Byzantine attacks during winters. In this time of migration and unrest, Many Turkmen clans settled in the Aegean region and formed Turkmen Rasate principalities. Ertugrul and the Kai tribe played a crucial role in defending against Christian warlords and reclaiming lost territories. 
Ertegrul's leadership was characterized by a peaceful and diplomatic approach. He maintained good relationships with Byzantine governors and negotiated tribute payments to the Seljuk Empire. His wise political maneuvers and commitment to peace created stability and security, earning him respect from both Muslims and Christians. After the reign of Sultan Aladdin Kekubad, Ertegrul emerged as a trusted ally of the Seljuk Empire. When young Kekavis ascended to the throne after his father's passing, he valiantly resisted the invasions of the Mongols and Byzantines. However, Kekavis would be the last influential sultan of the Seljuk Empire, as the Mongols seized control. In 1258, the Mongols devastated Baghdad, the capital of the Abbasid Caliphate, and the fate of the Seljuk Empire hung in the balance. In order to avoid a similar outcome, Seljuk leaders opted to pay substantial taxes to the Mongols, essentially becoming a vassal state. Their autonomy was curtailed, with decisions requiring Mongol approval. This arrangement marked the downfall of the Seljuk Empire. Amidst these challenging times, Ertugrul found himself in Sogut, witnessing the oppressive grip of Mongol control on his homeland. It was in the face of this adversity that Ertugrul boldly proclaimed, even if the whole world turns against us, it will not be possible for us to ever support a tyrant. These resolute words echoed his steadfast commitment to justice and his refusal to bow down to unjust rulers. With strong determination, Ertugrul made the momentous decision to resist Mongol taxation and establish his own independent state in Sogut. This act of defiance would shape the course of history, setting the stage for the rise of the illustrious Ottoman Empire. Ertugrul Ghazi's legacy extends beyond his military achievements. His religious impact and commitment to Islam have left an indelible mark. With unwavering dedication, Ertugrul spread the teachings of Islam throughout his conquered lands. The Ottoman Empire, shaped by his influence, became a stronghold of the faith. As long as our trust in Allah is firm, no one can bring us to our knees, said Ertugrul, reflecting his unwavering faith in the face of adversity. His belief fortified him and his followers, enabling them to overcome countless challenges on their path to empire. Ertugrul's influence also extended to culture. He shaped traditions and customs that endure in present-day Turkey. The vibrant heritage of the Ottoman Empire owes much to Ertugrul's vision, with many practices still cherished today. Ertugrul Ghazi's impact as a champion of Islam and his contributions to Ottoman culture solidify his place in history. His trust in Allah and dedication to spreading Islam inspire and serve as a reminder of the strength found in unwavering faith. Ertugrul, a revered leader and warrior, passed away in 1280 at the remarkable age of 90. His legacy and influence were so profound that his son, Osman Ghazi, built a magnificent tomb and mosque dedicated to his esteemed father in Sogut. Before his departure from this world, Ertugrul left behind a poignant last will to his beloved son, Osman Ghazi. It was in front of his final resting place that he imparted these powerful words, Lo, son, offend me, offend not Sheikh Edabali, he is the light of our clan, his balance does not err by a dirham, oppose me, oppose him not. If you oppose me, I will be sad and hurt. If you oppose him, my eyes will not look at you, even if they look, they will not see. Our words are not for Edabali but for you, dear. Consider what I have said, my last will. These heartfelt words encapsulate the wisdom and guidance Ertugrul imparted to his son, emphasizing the importance of honoring and respecting those who bring enlightenment and guidance to their lives. Ertugrul's profound connection to Sheikh Edabali, a revered figure in their community, highlights the significance of spiritual guidance and the deep respect Ertugrul held for this wise scholar. By urging his son to uphold the honor and wisdom of Sheikh Edabali, Ertugrul emphasized the invaluable role he played in their lives and the importance of maintaining a righteous path. We hope you found this journey through the life and legacy of Ertugrul Ghazi captivating. Share your thoughts and recommendations in the comments section below. 
Let us know which aspects of Turkish history or other remarkable individuals you would like us to explore next on Turkic Tales.